way you are. Good evening. The news here. The West's universities have the power to play a major part in the economic recovery of the region. So says Professor Steve West, the Vice Chancellor of the University of the West of England. He was speaking at the 20th birthday party of the institution this weekend. Martin Jones looks at what UE contributes to the local economy. Do universities make us better off as well as making us better educated? Well, 10,000 students at UE's Open Day certainly hope a degree will get them a better paid job. I just think it's worth it, like, in the long run, uh, to have a degree, um, no matter how high the fees are. I've been on lots of the websites and seen that they have um, really good high percentages for like, employment after the courses. The former Bristol Polytechnic has seen some big changes in the past 20 years, like this, the Bristol Robotics Laboratory. It was opened this spring and now provides industry with cutting-edge research. With creations like this, it's no wonder people want to study here. The University of the West of England has about ten times the number of students as it did when it was Bristol Polytechnic, so it's perhaps no surprise that high number has a big impact on the local economy. They're spending probably four or five thousand pounds a year on that accommodation. Uh, and then, of course, they're spending on food, they're spending on socialising. So I wouldn't be surprised to see students spending six and a half, seven thousand pounds a year in the local economy. Local firms also make money supplying the universities. So, could higher education help the West out of the economic downturn? If universities are uh, contributing five percent of the local region's GDP, then they're, a, they're an important asset to have. Universities are important in terms of innovating and providing usable research which, uh, which businesses can use. So they are a real asset to city regions. It's claimed UE students bring £125 million a year to the local economy, with funding and research bringing another £200 million. So it seems you can put a price on a good education. Martin Jones, BBC Points West. There's been more speculation in the Sunday newspapers about the possible merger of BAE Systems and EADS, the parent company of Airbus. Both employ thousands at Filton and across the West. Chancellor George Osborne has said UK security and jobs must be a key consideration. Earlier, dozens of Conservative MPs wrote to the Prime Minister, fearing a merger would hand the bulk of Britain's defence industry to a company that would not safeguard UK interests. Tickets for next year's Glastonbury Festival sold out in record time today. Millions tried to log onto the ticket website when it opened at 9 o'clock this morning, but many were unable to get onto the page because of the volume of people. And in an unprecedented one hour and 40 minutes, they were all gone. There'll be a resale of cancelled tickets in April. Author J.K. Rowling used the ongoing Cheltenham Literary Festival to reveal her next book would be for children. Tickets to see her last night sold out and the festival has never had to use such a large venue. Overall, 130,000 tickets have been sold so far, breaking last year's record. The festival runs for another week. And a striking new exhibit opened to the public at the Arnolfini Art Centre this weekend. 20,000 litres of water have been pumped into a room with stepping stones cut from a sick tree felled at Westonbert. It's called Ghost Log. It's designed as a space of reflection and fun. Go to bbc.co.uk slash Bristol to hear just what people thought of it. And so to the weather, here's Jennifer Bartram. Good evening. After a rather dry and fine day, we're already seeing the rain beginning to push in. So the start of the working week is going to be cloudy and rather damp. Taking a look at the map this evening, we can see that rain pushing in eastwards across the region as we go through this evening and overnight. It's going to be a rather murky night, but not at all cold. Temperatures 10 or 11 degrees, so feeling a lot milder than last night. Now, Monday morning starts off on a rather damp note, and that's the story for most of the day. The odd heavier burst of rain here and there, feeling rather mild, 14 or 15 degrees, the top temperature. Now, taking a look at the outlook for the rest of the week, it's a rather unsettled week, with more wet weather to come in the forecast, and generally feeling rather autumnal. Goodbye. We're back tomorrow in Breakfast News. Have a great week, goodbye, and good night.
Good evening. The weather's on the 